Hello students. My name is Miss Anusha De from North East Junior College. Today I am going to introduce the first class on the subject Business Studies of First Year. So before starting the class, I would like to show you the syllabus of this subject that I have enclosed here. Where you can see there are two parts in business studies for first year. That is part A and part B. Part A contains six number of chapters and part B four number of chapters. So now I will be starting part A that is foundations of business. Under this part A the first chapter that we are going to learn is nature and purpose of business. So students, first of all, we will know what is business and what is the basic understanding of the term business. Okay. Now I think we all are familiar with the word business. We all commonly know that a person when he sells the goods to the customers, okay, and the customers buy that goods by paying him money, this exchange of goods and services is known as business. This is actually we call business. Okay. But now, the term that has been derived here, we will focus on that. Let us see. Business is derived from the word being busy. It is an occupation which include all activities which are connected with production or procurement of goods for sale and adding a profit margin to that and selling it to the customers for the satisfaction of their needs and wants. Now, what that mean? Business is the word derived as being busy. So we can say that being busy is business. But in final term, if I am to define here, what is actually business? It is an occupation, okay, which include all activities, you know, which are connected with production or procurement of goods for sale and adding a profit margin to that and also selling it to the customers for the satisfaction of their needs and wants. Now the important point what I am going to stress over here is satisfaction of customer needs. Business at all points of time has to aim at profit maximization. But through the satisfaction of the customer's needs and wants. That means what? If the customer will be satisfied when they buy the goods in the market, they will like the product, 
they will demand it more okay then only business can establish or can earn profit more they can get a foundation stone to make the business expand okay so that is why customer satisfaction is very important with which the profit will be maximized in the organization or to the company okay now coming to the next heading different categories or characteristics of a business activity now let us understand what are the characteristics of business activities business activities are divided into two categories that is economic activity and non economic activity to understand this activities i take an example here now see when you start your day what do you do you go and brush your teeth then your mom or someone else in your family would serve you breakfast you have it and go to your college right then if you have father at home or anyone else at home they would be going to their office if they are working or if they are running a business then they will go to do that so these all are activities that we do in our day to day life now when your mom is serving breakfast to you or you are going to brush your teeth no one is giving money for that no one else tells you that i am paying you 10 rupees if you go and brush your teeth so that is a non economic activity okay so what is non economic activity an activity which do not have any earning value but see when i said your father goes for his own office or if he is working in others office or he is doing any kind of business he is earning money he is getting a pay here so that we can call as economic activity because economic activity is an activity which has earning value okay so now we can differentiate here what is economic activity and what is non economic activity now economic activity are further divided into three categories what are these three categories this is business profession and employment so now we are going to discuss the distinction among the business profession and employment here we will see the first distinction that is mode of establishment so in case of mode of establishment we can say it is nothing but how to do the work the business get established or how the professional services get established or how employment comes into this picture okay for example suppose if you wants to start your own restaurant and to run that restaurant you need to have registration you need to get shop license you need to have the shop establishment certificate right so these all are various certificate which are required from the law of land to start a business you need to do registration 
which is written here when it comes to professionals they need to get themselves registered as a member with the particular institute where they are as working and when it comes to the employment the employees get appointment letter from the company where they are hired by and it will give him a letter of appointment stating that this person is being hired by us and now he will be working with us the next is nature of work so in business it provides goods and services to the society to the customers who require the goods to day to day life for professionals what do you do they provide them expert services okay and when it comes to the employment it would be based on day to day requirement as per contract company need to provide services to the employees okay now comes qualification so in case of business you know to start the business we do not require any specified degree okay but when it comes to the professional it is required a specified degree to give an expert advices or services and if you comes to the employment it is also necessary to have a specific qualification for the specific post the employees must have a highly qualification with the highly gazetted post according to the work he will get a job according to the post he will get a job okay now comes reward or return now as you know that business is to be done for profit when we carry out the business do we do it to free no we want to earn a profit on that we need a return or reward okay when it comes to professional they charge a fee for that like a lawyer take any case he always will be charged for that in his expert services same as an employment when the employees will work in the organization or in any company or in any place he always ask a salary from the employer because he never do it as a free he will try to give his maximum satisfaction in the work best effort in the work but on basis of that he always need salary good remuneration fair incentives from the employer the employer also need to give him this incentives or fair remuneration so these all are the distinctions among the three economic activities